Hi everyone. Hope you all are good. We are here for grade 8 maths. So you can find all the lessons on aplusstudents.com. You have to log in there using your email address and password is provided by the administrator. Then you have to select math from the subject tab. Scroll down to grade 8 and then click on view all lessons. There you can find a list of the chapters. We're going to start with the chapter data and graph. Lessons we're going to cover create line plots. Create interpret line plots with fractions. Interpret stem and leaf plots and interpret histograms. So let's just start with the lesson. Okay, here I am on grade 8 maths. The chapter is data and graphs. The lesson is create line plots. Let's just start with the lesson. Okay. Kendra counted the total number of shells collected by her friends during a walk on the beach. Use the data in the table to complete the line plot below. So you are given with the data and the number of people is also you are giving. So you have to complete the graph okay let's see which one is missing okay the first missing piece of data is for four okay the fourth one is missing so for fourth you just have to make one cross so you have to make above one cross above four you just have to make one cross got it let's just start with the test question so that we can do them okay uh, for the fundraiser, the children in the art lab made greeting cards and kept track of how many they produced. Use the table, use the data in the table to complete the line plot below. Okay, you are given the table. You have to match it with the graphs. You need to see which is the correct one. Okay, for zero, you have to, zero, you have to. For one, it is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For two, it is nine. That would be nine. For 3, it is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For 4, you have 1. And for 5, you have 4. That would be option number 1. You just have to match the data with the graphs. Got it? So, option number 1 is the correct option. Okay, the next one is an art instructor kept track of how many total pictures were painted by each of the people enrolled in her class. Use the data in tally chart to complete the line plot below. Okay, so you are given the data in the tally chart. You have to see which is the correct option. Okay, for 0 it is 1. For 1 it is 6. The sign complete makes 5 and the 1, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then you have 9, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then you have 10 and then you have 7. So option number 1 is the correct option. You just have to match the values with the graph. And select the correct option. So option number one is the correct option. Got it? Okay, the next one is Kendra counted the total number of shells collected by her friends during a walk on the beach. Use the data in the table to complete the line plot below. So, you have to match the data with the correct graph. Let's just see which is the correct one. Okay, for 0, you have 2. Here you have 2 for 0. Then for 1, it is 10. 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. For 2, it is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For 3, it is 6. For 5, it is 3. Here you have 3 and for 4 it is 1. That means this isn't the correct option. For 4 here you have 6. So then that would be the correct option. You can see here for 4 you have 1. Got it? The second option is the correct option. Okay, Ken's treats counted how many times its most frequent customers ate ice cream last month. Use the data in the table to complete the line plot below. Okay, for 0, 
it is 5 1 2 3 4 5 for 1 it is 6 for 2 it is 1 2 3 4 4 3 7 for 4 it is 8 and for 5 it is 2 so option number 1 is the correct option just select the correct option and then click on the ok button ok the next one is the owner of a pick your own bouquet flower farm recorded the number of flowers that customers picked yesterday so use the data in the table to complete the line plot below so you have to match the table with the graph okay for one it is eight for two it is three for three it is two for four it is five for six five it is one and for six it is six so option number one is the correct option got it just match these values with these cross and just select the correct option Okay, an Italian restaurant monitored the number of times its regular customers ate pizza last month. Use the data in the table to complete the line plot below. So for 0, it is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This isn't the correct option. That means then. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4. Then you have 10, 7, 2, 9, 3. Okay. 10, 7, 2, 9, 3. The second one is the correct option. Got it? Okay. The next one is the shop teacher. Mr. Harrison wrote down how many picture frames the students made last week. Use the data in the table to complete the line plot below. Okay. For 0, it is 2. That means this isn't the correct option. Got it? This one is the correct option then. Just select the correct option and click on the OK button. Okay, Keith counted the number of cookies eaten by each customer at last week bake sale. Use the data on the table to complete the line plot below. So 7, 1, 4, 3, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 1, 4, 3, 10. Option number 1 is the correct option. Just select the correct option and click on the OK button. Okay, an insurance company compiled the number of doctor visits made by some patients last year. Use the data in the table to complete the line plot below. OK, it is 3, 4, 5, and 1. So, 3, 4, 3, 1. That means the second option is the correct one. It would be 3, 4, 5, and 1. The second option is the correct one. Okay, we're done with the lesson. Let's just move on to next lesson. Okay, the next one is create and interpret line plots with fractions okay use the corrected line plot to answer the questions below okay if you combine all the glitter from the paper chains that use exit three whole three by eight containers of glitters how many glitter will have use in all three whole three by eight here is three whole three by eight column got it how many glitters there are? There are just two glitters. That means the three whole three by eight column just use two glitters. Got it? So you have two cross in front of three whole three by eight. So you need to do two times three whole three by eight. It would be six whole six over eight. The correct option is Okay, let me just read the question again. Use the corrected line plot to answer the question below. If you combine all the glitters from the paper chains that used exactly three whole three by eight containers of glitter, how much glitter you have used in all. So you can see three whole three by eight has two cross. That means you need to do two times three whole three by eight. 
that would be 6 whole 6 over 8 and when you divide them by the common factor 2 it would be 6 whole 3 by 4 containers got it <laughs> let's just start with the practice questions okay use the correct line plotted to answer the question below what fraction of packages more than 3 but less than 3 whole 3 by 4 pound okay here is 3 and here is 3 whole 3 by 4 pounds got it you have 1 more than 3 and less than so you have just 2 1 and 2 got it that means you need to do 2 times Okay, more than three, but less than. 3 whole 3 by 4 so you have just The next one is use the correct line plot to answer the question below. If you stack all the packages that we did 3 whole 3 by 4 pounds, how much will the stack of packages weigh in all? Exactly 3 whole 3 by 4. So it would be, you can see here 3 whole 3 by 4, you have just two cross got it that means you need to do two times three whole three by four okay let's just do two times three whole it should be four times three is twelve thirteen you have to do two times three is six six whole six over four you have you can divide both of them by two it would be then 6 whole 3 over 2 the correct option is 6 whole 3 over 2 3 whole 3 by 4 times 2 ok hold on let me just do 2 times 3 whole 3 by 4. It would be 4 times 3 is 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 over 4. 15 times 2 is 30. It would be 30 over 4. Let's just divide 30 by 4. It would be 4 times 7 is 28. Here you have to. It would be 7 whole 2 over 4. Also you can divide 2 by 4 by common factor 2 it would be 7 whole 1 over 2 so the correct option is 7 whole 1 over 2 pounds in all got it ok the next one is use the correct line plots to answer the question below what was the total 
weight of all packages combined you have to calculate the total weight got it just multiply all the values by there you can see here you have just one sign so it would be 1 times 3 equals 3 then you have 3 by whole 1 by 2 times 1 is 3 whole 1 by 2 times 1 is 3 whole 1 over 2 then here you have 3 whole 3 by 4 so 3 whole 3 by 4 times 2 is would be 4 times 3 is 12 and 3 15 15 over 4, 30 over 4 7 whole 2 over 4 then you have 4 whole 1 over 4 times 3 it would be 16 17 17 times 3 is 51 51 over 4 then you have 4 whole 1 over 2 times 1 it would be 4 whole 1 over 2 then you have 4 whole 3 over 4 times 1 it would be 4 whole 3 over 4 basically you have to add up all the fractions got it here you have 3 it would be 3.5 it would be 7.5 it would be 5.25 it would be 4.5 it would be 4.75 you just have to add up all the values it would be 3 plus 3.5 plus 7.5 plus 5.25 plus 4.5 plus 4.75 that would be 51 divided by 4 not 5.1 that would be 12.75 this one is 12.75 this is 51 over 4 not 5 whole 1 over 4 to be 3 plus 3.5 plus 7.5 plus 12.75 plus 4.5 plus 4.75 the correct option is 36 points you just have to add all the values it would be 36 pounds got it so the correct option is 36 it would be 36 okay you can complete the test by yourself later today let me just move on to next lesson The next lesson is interpret stem and leaf plots. Let's just start with the next one. Okay. Can count the pages in each book on his English class required reading list. How many books had at least 50 pages but less than 60 pages? So you have to count. Let's start from 50 and less than 60. So you have just 3011 because the next one is 64 64 is greater than 60 so you have just three leaves that have pages less between 50 and 60 got it so the correct option is 3 let's just start with the practice questions okay Leila counted the number of peanuts in each bag of trial mix how many bags had fewer than 60 peanuts? You have to count that are fewer than 60. So just look at the stem 6. That is 5, 65. You don't have to count this one. You have to count all the ones that are on the stem 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means you have 6 bags that have fewer than 60 peanuts. Got it? The correct option is 6 bags. shipping company keeps track of number of boxes in each shipment they send out what is the smallest number of boxes so just look at the smallest stem and the very first leaf so it would be 26 boxes got it correct option is 26 
Colin counted the number of pairs of shoes for sale at each of the shoe stores in the mall. How many stores have at least 60 pairs of shoes but fewer than 80 pair of shoes? Okay, the minimum value would be 40 and the greatest value would be 80. So which is the correct option? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 because fewer than 80, 80 is not included. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the correct option is 5 stools. Okay, the next one is the owner of a plant must he wrote down the number of roses on each bush. How many bushes have exactly 58 roses? It would be 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 bushes have exactly 58 roses. A researcher recorded the number of cows on each farm in the country, in the county. How many farms have at least 60 cows? The minimum would be 60. Maximum would be any. Got it? Just all the numbers are greater than 60. Just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. That means all the forms are 25 that are greater than that have greater than 60 cows, at least 60 cows. Got it? So it is 25. Okay, a veterinarian waited all the dogs that visited his office last month. So what is the waste of the heaviest dog? That would be the highest stem and the last leaf. So that would be 78 pounds. Okay, a machine in the candy, cotton candy, dispensed different numbers of lemon flavored candies into various bags. How many bags had exactly 47 lemon flavored candies? So which is the correct option? exactly 47 here you have the stem 4 you have to see no 7 that means we have 0 bags that have exactly 47 candies got it correct option is 0 ok an architecture student measured the height of all buildings down down how many buildings are at least 37 meter tall and less than 76 meter tall at least 37 minimum is 37 maximum can be any got it so you have to start from 3 and leave 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and go till 76 so it would be 7 buildings the numbers are 3 8 1 8 3 9 0 3 that would be seven buildings one two three four five yes that would be seven buildings okay the architecture student counted the number of bricks in each building in his neighborhood how many buildings have exactly 65 bricks so which is the correct option look for this time six and leave one you have just one value for 61 got it that means you have just one building that have exactly 65 bricks so the correct option is one building okay, the next one is Dr. Loeb's a pediatrician waited all the children who recently visited her office. How many children waited at least 50 pounds but less than 
90 pounds so which is the correct option you have to count all the values in between 50 and 90 so you have to start from here you have to start with 50 so until less than 90 90 is not included so how many children one two three four five six that means the six children waited at least 50 and at most 90 got it but less than 90 not at most that means the correct option is six children's okay you can complete the test by yourself later today let me just move on to next lesson okay the next lesson is interpret histograms okay for a science fair project Laura tracked temperature each day find the bar of the range 11 to 15 degrees C okay the question is how many temperature readings between 11 and 15 so just look at the here you have 11 and 15 and just match it to the temperature so it would be 8 degrees Celsius got it you have to look for the bar that have the temperature 11 to 15 so it would be 8 degrees Celsius got it no 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 no. how many temperature readings were between 11 so 11 and 15 degrees C have 8 readings got it temperature is here on the x-axis on the y-axis you have the readings number of times temperature readings got it okay let's just start with the practice questions okay a food magazine published a listing of local restaurant ratings how many restaurants were rated here you have number of restaurants got it you need to count how many restaurants were rated you have two restaurants that have rating between 0 to 4 9 between 5 to 9 from 10 to 14 rating you have 2 for 15 to 19 4 from 25 to 29 you have 4 from 30 to 34 you have 5 and it would be 10 you just have to count add these numbers got it 9 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 18 19 20 21 26 and 10 36 that means the total restaurants they counted are 36 they rated total 36 restaurants got it correct option is 36 got it a crayon factory monitored the number of broken crayons per box during past day how many boxes had between 0 to 9 broken crayons so here you have 0 and 9 and here is the number of crayons number of boxes you can count from here it would be 5 boxes have 0 to 9 broken crayons got it so the correct option is 5 boxes Okay, Miss Brilliant, Rina set up competition among her PE students and monitored how many setups each student could do. Are there more people who did 20 to 29 setups or people who did 30 to 39 setups? Okay, 20 to 29 you have. Let's see how many people did do 20 to 29 setups. Just four people. And then 30 to 39 would be zero. So who did more setups? 20 to 29. Got it? Because 30 to 39 would be 0. So 20 to 29 would did more setups. Lattel counted a number of articles in several different magazines. What range of articles per magazine is the least common?
So, what range of articles will magnesium is least common? It would be thirty one to thirty five articles. Got it. And the next one is a poultry factory kept track of number of broken plates per shipment last week. Are there fewer shipments that had 5 to 9 broken plates or shipment that have 25 to 29 broken plates? Okay, here is 5 to 9. 5 to 9 have 7 number of shipments. And here you have 25 to 29 that have 6. So that means so 25 to 29 have broken fewer broken blades okay you can complete the test by yourself later today so we were working on grade 8 maths and the lessons we have covered we we're working on the chapter data and graphs the lessons we have covered today are create line plots create and interpret line plots with fractions interpret stem and leaf plots and interpret histograms Please make sure before the next session you have to complete all the test questions for the lessons we did today. So if you need more help with any of the lesson, you can contact any tutor on the Skype. They are available from Monday to Friday, 5 to 9. If you have any question, you can ask. I'm here to answer all your questions if you have any. Okay, that's all for today. See you in the next session. Bye everyone.